It's Monday morning outside the Reverend Dr. Michael E. Haynes Early Education Center in Roxbury when a white van pulls up with a very special delivery. Free books from Storytime Crafts, hand delivered by its founder, Lisa Vergara. Our goal is to amplify the voices of diverse authors and spread the joy of reading to our communities. Anisha Jordan Royston is the librarian here and sees firsthand the impact these books have on her young scholars. When they come in and they see all these nice learning and toys and books, it's like Christmas. Or perhaps Hanukkah is a better comparison as this giving lasts for days. Our scholars are able to build their home libraries and they know that they are there to keep. Our teachers are able to build on their classroom um, libraries as well. Storytime Crafts may be the definition of a grassroots organization. Vergara started collecting books in her home. It wasn't really something that I had to think long about. I just gave away all my furniture in two rooms and the books started coming in. We distributed over 60,000 books from my house. Then I knew it was time that we needed to find a space to call our own. We have on display here a really great variety of, of authors and diverse books. This space in Needham was secured thanks to the legacy of one incredibly special little boy. The Martin Richard Foundation is the reason why we're in this space right here, because our missions align for social equity, kindness, peace and justice, and it was just a really natural fit. Vergara works full time without pay. However, the new space came with an opportunity for new volunteers from Needham High School, located just across the street. Are you all here together? Yeah. Woohoo! The volunteers take on different roles. Oftentimes they're sorting books. We count all of our donations so that we know the quantity and the impact of our donations. Books, we hit 94,000, so we're sure that this year we will hit 100,000 books, 10,000 games, 6,000 stuffed animals. And 47 of these. So these are chairs that I make, and they go into public schools in Boston, and. We've partnered with all sorts of communities to get these uh, chairs into public spaces to promote reading. Many of these chairs are sponsored by generous donors and each has a theme that reflects the location where it lives, like this one back at the Haynes. We chose a theme, the little engine that could, because we want our scholars to believe and know that whatever you want to achieve in life, you can achieve. There are numerous statistics about the value of reading books, but when asked if she's following the science, or her heart. 100% from the heart. I just enjoy seeing children when they pick up a book and they get excited. There's nothing like it. <laughs> what a story, and Storytime Crafts has also taken up the challenge of collecting banned books. That's Chronicle for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Shana Seymour. We'll see you back here tomorrow.